hello family welcome to my channel once again and today i am going to show you how i make this amazing soft flat bread with no milk no eggs and no yeast and it's still soft so let's start it i'm going to use 200 gram of bones of flour 200 grams of flour then i'll add one teaspoon of onion powder thyme parsley basil and oregano to it I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of sea salt to it by adding water to the sea salt to melt it and add 3 teaspoon of olive oil to it. And I'm going to add water and mix it until I get my dough. The water is too small so I'm going to add more water to it. I'm now going to keep on mixing it. I'm going to spread some flour on my kitchen counter please make sure that your kitchen counter is very clean and neat my dough is very very sticky and very very soft so i'm going to add more flour to it and knead it for five minutes until my dough become a little bit thicker My dough is now finished kneading. I'm going to add another 2 tablespoons of olive oil to it and let it rest for 30 minutes in the fridge. I'm not going to add any more oil to it by cooking it. So, so guys, it has been 30 minutes and this is how it looks like. I'm going to spread more flour on my kitchen counter and knead it for 5 minutes. But if you like, you don't have to put it in the fridge. You can just go straight forward to the next process. The kneading process is done, so I'm going to divide it into small pieces. And rolling each piece into a ball. I'm now going to make each ball flat by using my kneading stick. I'll use my bow to cut it so that I'll get a beautiful form. I have got the right size that I want and this is how it looks like. So I'll continue using the same method for the rest of the dough. I am done with all of them and this is how it looks like. So let's start cooking it. I've already heated the pan on a medium heat. I'm going to cook each size for 3 minutes. What I have to do now is keep on turning it because the first one always burns quickly. It has been 6 minutes and this is how it looks like, like I said the first one always burn. So I'm going to use the same method for the rest of it. Now the pan is very very hot so I'm going to lower the heat now. It's the last one. So guys I'm finished now and this is how it looks like. Like I said, no milk, no egg, no yeast and it's still very very soft. You can use this as wrap and also eat it with anything that you want. Guys, this is how I make my homemade flop bread. Thank you very much for your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.